The middle class was once a symbol of the American dream, representing financial stability and endless opportunities. But today, it seems to be a thing of the past. The middle class is no longer the majority in America. What has happened to the American middle class, those people whose drive and optimism have lifted the nation out of financial trouble into triumph time and time again. From Boston to Goldsboro, North Carolina, to Midland, Texas, to Seattle, there are fewer adults living in middle class households. And the question is, can the middle class rally once more to pull America ahead? What we used to call the middle class has undergone profound transformations since the 1970s. A survey by the Federal Reserve revealed that 33% of middle income adults cannot afford an unexpected expense of $400, a startling figure that underscores the economic fragility of this group. We've spent much time this year talking about the travails of the middle class. Now, a new analysis shows how it's shrinking in most U.S. metro areas. This phenomenon is part of a trend that has been occurring for decades. The Pew Research Center found that while in 1971, 61% of American adults belonged to the middle class, by 2023, it had decreased to 50%, and this number continues to decline. Tough times are forcing more and more Americans to tighten their belts and even switch jobs. 94% of America's middle class no longer believes that central idea that their families will move up the economic ladder. Today, America's middle class is reeling. This trend suggests not only a change in economic composition, but also in the perception and reality of what it means to be middle class in the U.S. A key factor in this change is the rise of the squeezed middle class, a term that reflects the growing difficulties in maintaining or improving the middle class standard of living. In the last two decades, family income only increased 20 percent, while health insurance rose 155 percent, the cost of housing rose 56 percent, the cost of a college education 43 percent. Housing, education, Health care and other essential services costs have increased to record levels, while incomes have not kept pace, creating unprecedented pressure on middle-income families. So, what exactly happened to the American middle class, and what can be done about it? What we knew as the middle class has changed over the past few years, especially for new generations. In 2023, the situation became more complicated for millennials, of whom only 60% belong to middle-income households in their 20s, compared to almost 70% of baby boomers at the same age. This decline not only reflects an economic change, but also a generational change in access to the middle class. Data shows that households with a family income of just over $100,000 are facing financial difficulties due to taxes, insurance, student loans, and the high cost of living. This underscores the current middle-class paradox, incomes that in theory should guarantee stability, but in practice fall short. New federal report finds Americans are struggling to keep up with paying their bills. People all across the country working in jobs once considered middle class, but now living far below a middle class lifestyle. 36% of consumers say they've had trouble paying in just the last week. Debt has become an omnipresent burden for many American families with total household debt reaching a record $16.5 billion in the fourth quarter of 2023. And this figure is on the rise. Americans are digging themselves into a deep financial hole, approaching $1 trillion in credit card debt. Americans are taking on more debt, $17.5 trillion overall. Data shows Americans are digging themselves deeper into credit card debt, which is now hitting an all-time high. Student loan debt, amounting to $1.6 billion, is particularly significant, highlighting the high cost of education as a crucial factor in middle-class precarity. There is now more than $1.7 trillion in student loan debt. This really touches every facet of American lives, both individuals, their communities, our economy, and our country. For most students, how to pay for school is a major consideration. Student loan debt is a one and a half trillion dollar financial crisis in America. The average household with student debt owes more than $47,000. Home ownership, another pillar of the American dream, has become unattainable for many. A study showed that nearly 23% of homeowners consider buying a home was a financial mistake, given the underestimations of the real cost of ownership, including taxes and maintenance. 
the rise is dramatic. The average yearly cost to keep a property insurance policy active in Florida is nearly double that of the rest of the country. The United States experienced a 30% increase in the cost to replace a property in the last five years. And now it's leaving many people to wonder if they can still afford to own a home. The feeling of being trapped in an endless cycle of debt, as expressed by thousands of Americans, highlights a broader crisis within the American middle class. A constant struggle to maintain a standard of living that seems increasingly out of reach. If the economy has you thinking about working that extra part-time gig to help make ends meet, you're not alone. The number of people working a second job has reached a post-pandemic high. In a report by the financial service company Lending Club, 59% of Americans said they lived paycheck to paycheck. The future of the middle class and, by extension, the American dream is at stake. The promise of upward mobility, a central component of the American dream, seems increasingly distant for many families. This erosion of the stability and security that define the middle class has profound implications not only for individual families, but for American society as a whole. The concern that future generations may not be able to achieve or surpass their parents' standard of living is palpable. The American dream, based on meritocracy and upward mobility, is under threat. It's been found one in four people, 26 to 41 years old, live with their parents. From family cell phone plans to keeping young adults on health insurance plans until they're 26 to living at home for longer. Nearly a third of young adults moved back home during the pandemic. Two thirds still remain with their parents and more than half say they moved back out of necessity. The reality is that for many families, especially the younger ones, the stability and security that once defined the middle class seem increasingly out of reach. This shift in economic reality and perceptions of the middle class requires collective reflection and action. To preserve the American dream, it is imperative to address the underlying causes of this precarity and seek solutions that promote true equity and opportunity for all. The transformation of the American middle class from a symbol of stability and progress to a reality marked by uncertainty and the daily struggle to make ends meet reflects profound changes in the economic and social structure of the United States. Rapid inflation, of course, is forcing many people to spend more on necessities while rising interest rates are making it harder to pay back loans and credit. And it seems that millennials have been hit particularly hard, particularly older millennials coming out of the pandemic. Their total debt in the final quarter of 2022 collectively was nearly $4 trillion. The history of the middle class is a reflection of the broader challenges and changes facing American society and its future is a central issue for the fate of the American dream. At Economy Media, your opinion matters to us. Subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments below.